But today, uh, I'll present to you the application of the theory for the examination problem. Uh, my motivation for that project was just simply an enthusiast of the computer vision part of the deep learning, and I wanted to make something that would actually help people not to only focus on the money. So, through the whole presentation, I will try to explain to you what's my business case, how did I get data, yeah, what was my data, what is my data, and what was my data acquisition, what is actually under the hood of my, of my engine. And we'll then proceed to the, to the short demo. But it's not really done yet, so I have to pre record a video for you. And we'll end with the QA session. So, with the business case, I'll try to answer to the questions so what, uh, what, what actually is your product. This is a complex problem, actually, to, to, to solve. And um, if it's so complex, I would call the video with you. And I would have to help with the innovation for you. And what are your limitations within the project? So, what's my project? It's simply a tool that will take a raw video um, as an input, and the output will be a translation. Text and 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 it's not they might feel isolated in our work, and so we try to make it simpler for, for them to actually with the basic lifestyle. So, starting with the sign language, unfortunately, it's very hard to make a general tool because there's plenty of those sign languages. In here, we have all the languages of sign languages, and each country has plenty of the sign languages itself. So, for example, the Poland is in the German family of the sign languages, but we have three languages. It's only one is official, but only up in the since 10 years it's officially announced as a language, so it can be uh, learned in school. And is it a niche problem? Uh, I was quite shocked that uh, about 5% of the whole world population actually get to the RT first of, of the problems with uh, uh, yeah, they, they, they like the hearing disabilities. <clears throat> so, what's complex in the problem? The problem is that the language is not unified to you, so there are a lot of dialects, regulars, the adults speak a different way than the, than the young, young people. So, right now in this, in this project, I picked only one, the most official and the most official one. Uh, what else from the technical aspects? Uh, my product requires, I mean, every product requires a high resolution of the video. Because there is a lot of details that have to be tracked on the on the video. For example, sign language is not only about it's not a static language. It's not only about the movements of my body. It's as well movements of all of my fingers and uh, my face expression as well. And uh, that's why it's very tricky. Uh, and the problem with face expression is that everyone expresses their emotions in a different way. Uh, that's why uh, in this project we quite simplified the part. We only focus on tracking. And the major key points of my torso and, and, and the and the hands itself, we start at the beginning um, tracking in a very detailed way in my, in my face. We kept track of all these like six basic points like not skills and stuff like that. And the grammar. The problem with the grammar is that the location actually matters. It's not only about the movement. For example, when I'm pointing in one direction, I wish I'm referring to. Every time I'm pointing in the direction again and, and just referring to that person again. So, that grammar is not only contained within the point itself, my movements, but will also go about the space that I have to go So, what was my approach? I picked only one language. I introduced this top word, uh, like an inactive, inactive way to, to find where the person is inactive to be able to split it into smaller sequences. Due to limitation of data, I use the open box uh, tool to, trans to transform, translate the image, image into the I mean, smaller 
the dimension node in which are the my bottom two blocks. After that, I introduced a few transformations to deal with the different speed of the movements of our part, or how far we speed the entire language, the both in my position of the model on the video, and uh, we ignore the first expression as well. And at the beginning, we had to make a technical translation, what does it mean? Uh, the, the way the deaf person actually speaks is completely different than the phonetic English language. So when you read the sentence written by the deaf person, you might, you might assume that the children have to record that sentence. That's not true. It's, the, it's actually the way they speak and they write the sentence. So we are missing the last part, the language to language translation. We have a light transformer, but due to the limitation of time, we didn't focus and we didn't really need to it. And what are the limitations? As I mentioned, it requires higher resolution for the video, so it's not very fine processing yet. And we are going to, to uh, apply multi processing for the project and the more advanced multi processing so we could be able to. Work in near real time. We continue scoring we, to score the my sequence and to score other sequence. We have to wait for the sequence to actually end. And uh, right now we have assumption that we are tracking only the first person on, on the video, so if there, if there are any others in the background. It might, it probably would work, but we are dependent on that. If the open post how does it track to, how does it track the people on the, on the, on the video? And what is the data? Mostly, I was recorded, I was recording data myself. I was also supported by the Bones Association board. Uh, I got involved in collaboration with them. And how much data did we get? We start with the simple dictionary at the beginning, about the 10 words and phrases. And for each phrase, we got from 50 to 80 videos. We have uh, three people who actually recorded, so it's not fully biased to, to me recording those videos. So, we have over 1200 videos labeled and because my problem is split into actually two models. The first one is to find, find the, 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 the frame where this, the sequence actually ends. So it's a um, stop post classifier. And the other one, if we have the sequence, we are responsible for what, what word was in that sequence. And we'll then proceed to the What's the site? I will cover my in very high level of my application flow, what data processing I've, I've contained in my project, and briefly what site I used. So, with the application flow that I mentioned, we take the for raw video as an input, we split it into the frames, and then pass it to the open post. I will uh, show you later what is the output of the open post, and from here we start two nodes of our application. We have two sub processes. In one, we are rendering the frames. So we are actually extracting the skeleton from the, from the video and from the frame that we are trying to render the image with that. And the other one, which is much faster and is used most only to the translation, we are doing the body key points. Then the body key points are passed to the stop post detector, which, uh, uh, which operates on the latent space created by the open post. And there we have the full connected layers. In the inner layers, and we have the accuracy of uh, 0.95%. And what's going on uh, later? With this stop post detector, we have the sequences, so we split the video uh, significant sequences where I'm actually trying to, to, to speak in the sign language, and other ones that I'm connected, so I have to ignore. The sequence uh, are transformed, which I will do later. And then we pass it to the sequence classifier. In the sequence classifier, we have a uh, Lesley based uh, network, network, network architecture, followed by a few linear layers to actually make the prediction for the connected classes that I mentioned to you. And then we have translation, which we can't cut, I mean, we could not cut, we to just merge with the record frames that we have did. And of course, I will present to you the uh, results of it later. For the data processing, you would get quite poor if I mentioned all of that. So we have from key points filtering when I'm drawing, like key points like these, which are 
is for all the treatments probably for my body, or the general joint points. We have some FP filters met for, for sequence. We are using FPS adjustments on the shorter sequences. We are using higher FPS for, for all the ones, the lower one. We have the bumping ports we scale to the node to actually ignore the background, so we only track the space when I'm moving to and to track the space when I'm moving around. And the button. So, an example. In this frame, I'm for the sequence, I'm tracking right now, I create the bounty space. Uh, so all my movements within the sequence is within the box. We are rescaling, so partially we are ignoring the energy that's outside of the box. But as you see, for each and my model parts and input, it's very detailed for the hands. We get the, the key points of my almost every ball, I mean every joint um, at my body. And we start quite regular one, uh, deep learning to apply to uh, Because of the open box, we built everything on the doctor, so it's easier to deploy the filter on. OpenCD, now I to do image processing and the Python is still rather important. It's not deployed yet, that's why there is no class in the cloud. It's in the four versions. So, about the demo, I will cover a part of data acquisition. I will give you uh, some examples of how the open post itself work, and at the end we will be all compatible with the actual translation. To get those results and the Yakult Cheshti, who unfortunately is not present here today. So, thank you for your attention.